Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your third AngularJS tutorial and in this video we're going to go ahead and download AngularJS and insert it into our project. Wow! Alright then, so I've gone ahead to AngularJS.org, you should go there too, and we're going to download AngularJS. Now there's two options, download AngularJS 1 or try the new Angular 2. This is the, uh, the more recent version, I'm not going to cover that in this tutorial playlist, I'm going to go through AngularJS 1 and uh, I'll go through Angular 2 in the future, which adds additional functionality to this library. Uh, so what we're going to do is click this button right here, and uh, we're given a few options. The first one is to choose which branch we want. So I've got a couple of options, either the most recent stable branch, which is 1.5, or a legacy branch, which is older. So we'll keep with the most recent one right there that's stable. Then the build. Now that can be either minified, which is the uh, the compressed where everything's squashed together, or the uncompressed version, or zip. So we're just going to get the minified one. And uh, then we can also install uh, AngularJS via the CDN, which is a content delivery network, um, or one of these two options right here. I'm just going to download it and insert it into the files manually. But before I do that, I just quickly want to talk about these additional modules right here. So if we click download now, we're going to download the core AngularJS library, which we're going to need to make any kind of AngularJS application. And that's got all that kind of core functionality embedded into it. But if we want to add additional kind of functionality, such as AngularJS's animations, we're going to have to download additional modules, which are just additional uh, JavaScript libraries to add that functionality in. Okay, so let's have a look at these. We'll open that in a new tab. And you can see we've got an Angular Animate JS file there. So we'll download that if we want to use the animations. Uh, Angular Route, we download that if we want to set up our own Angular routing system. So these additional modules we're not going to use now, but in the future when we add additional functionality to our projects, we are going to come back here and we're going to download some of these modules. Okay, I just wanted to show you those now. So let's download AngularJS. You can see I've already done it. This is the uh, the second time I've done it. And then once you've downloaded that, we just need to insert it into our project. Okay then, guys. So I've uh, opened up this AngularJS playlist folder, the one that I've uploaded to the GitHub. So I've downloaded that. I've got it right here now. And uh, I'm just going to pop this angular.min in there. Okay, but I want to organize this a little bit better. So I'm going to create a new folder and I'll call this app, which stands for application. And all our application kind of files are going to go in there. All right, so let's move the angular.min into the app folder. And then within here, I'm going to create a new folder called lib, which stands for library. And all the kind of Angular library files that we download, like this one, the angular.min, the core one, or the animate or the route stuff, we're going to pop in here, keep everything in one place nicely organized. Okay, so once we've done that, if we just go ahead and uh, open this project up in the Atom editor, we can see now this app folder and this file right here. We just need to link to that file in our index.html file, okay? So we're gonna do that in the head. And I know in previous tutorials, in other playlists, I've talked about adding the script at the bottom of your body tag, but with AngularJS, we should insert it in the head because it uses a templating system that is gonna manipulate the DOM somewhat, so we want it in the head, okay? So we'll say script source equals, and then pretty neat trick you just right click here in atom and go to copy project path it's going to get you the full path to the file okay so then we can close that off and voila guys now we have linked up to angular js so now we can create an angular app in this code all right so that's all i wanted to show you in this tutorial in the very next one we're going to start diving into the code and do some of the cool stuff we can do with angular so i'll see you guys there